Okay, welcome to hey Westy here. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is going to be a really interesting video on uh, OPN Sense, which is a free BSD uh, old school Unix G, uh, graphics and uh, with the with a GUI. Uh, really powerful software, OpenSense. I'm sure you've done a lot of research, and it's a great, great um, router. Um, runs on very low um, operating system specs and high performance. So obviously the gruntier your gear, the better it will go. But I've primarily used it for high-speed VPN. So basically we, I'm just going to power mine up. Just give me a sec. This is a base config. There's nothing been done to it. So would, you need to navigate to uh, 192.168.1.1. Oops. And it takes a little while, it takes about a minute to boot up, load all its drivers and everything. Tick, 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 tick. Eventually it'll come up with this, um, your, your connection is not private, go whatever, advanced, <laughs> proceed. Okay, the standard login is root and the standard password is lowercase O-P-N-S-E-N-C-E. Uh, S-E, sense, open sense. As in up here, O P N S E N S E. Okay, so it's saying welcome to the uh, Open Sense. One moment while we start the wizard, it'll guide you through the wizard. Wizard, and maybe stop at any time. Blah blah blah. Go okay, next. So you can basically set it up. You can pretty much leave all of the faults here as as normal. Um, change your host name if you want to. It's up to you. I just leave it standard. Um, Time zone. Okay, I'm going to go New Zealand. Pacific Auckland. Next. <clears throat> and then just leave everything else standard. I'll just go next. It's a standard subnet. I'm, I'm just going to leave that standard. It's a, it's a, I'll leave, leave the route the same. And I'll show you what to do once we get that up and running. So that'll be a few bits and bobs. Okay, that's done. Congratulations, it's done. Um, continue to the dashboard. Okay, so we can see that we're up and running. We've got two, a WAN interface up, the HCP's up, uh, and my public IP address is up. So that's going to be blanked out, of course. And um, as you can see, I'm running an Intel um, i5-9400F. 2.9 gigahertz, six cores, six threads. Four, I'm running four gigs of RAM. Um, as you can see there, uh, it shows you your disk usage, um, memory buffer usage, and state table size, zero percent. So it's just ticking away now, and it's just running at one percent CPU. So not much at all. Um, so uh, the first thing that we need to do here really is to go into system access users and create a new user so add okay so we're just going to change this name here i'm just going to call this westy put in a password same password again um, full name, system description, administrator, who cares. I'm not a member of admin, so we want to move that across. Grab that and click it across there like that. And then go save and go back. So now that's a, um, it's, it's another admin user set up in here. So now we can actually go, uh, well, I'll show you what happens. So normally you could go in here and disable this, but it won't let us do this. So I'll go save and go back. So there's an error. You cannot disable yourself. What does that mean? It means that you're logged in as root. It can't delete. You cannot delete yourself while you're actually 
accessing the system okay so we can just go back oh so we'll just go um, cancel sorry so now we'll um we'll log out we'll log in under the new username we created and now this is a critical to do this too because it's um good practice so go to um, right. well the other thing you can do here is this arrow it, it gives you drop down boxes so it's quite cool if you're down into a certain area and you want to scroll through or you can go old score and it'll drop down as you click on each each piece so now we get access users and now we can go to admins and then disable you can't delete a root um, account but you can disable it save and go back so now the roots disabled you can see that there and this one's logged in as a system administrator and a blue blue human or little person is a normal user and dark is uh, disabled okay so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to go into system configuration and go to firmware status and we'll check for updates so we'll check for updates currently running 22.1.6 uh, packages are up to date so everything's up to date great so that's the first thing you need to check Okay, we'll go back to lobby dashboard. So here's it's quite good here. You can see in the dashboard, you can see all the basic items, how much load everything's under, all your hardware. Uh, it shows you what services are running and whether they're disabled. There's a disabled one there. Um, normally that would be oh yeah, no, that normally comes disabled, and then it gives you your interfaces. And everything down there so let's set the network up stay tuned oh and by the way if you like what you said like contact you see please like leave a comment and subscribe it would be great to have you aboard cheers uh, the other thing that you need to do is uh, before you do any changes do a backup so go to system um configuration backups and then download configuration and then just just do a backup just save it to whatever you want and and back it up so that's basically so if you muck up any settings instead of having to go right through the whole process again you can just go straight into a backup and the same applies when you actually do get your vpns and all your rules set up um, you are up and running and, and it's all tested and working you know if you set up VPN um, like I set up Nord um, or for or your um, you know one of your other VPN services like WireGuard and things like that uh, once you've got that all up and running make sure you save it so system configuration backups download configuration and then if you have a problem you can go simply go restore configuration navigate to the or navigate to the file here and then um, yeah you can recover straight away you're not mucking around trying to figure out what, what you've done wrong um, unless you want to do that of course <laughs> you know you're quite welcome to do that yeah so so yeah just thought um, that's the next stage just to do your backup so now we're going to create some um, cool stuff <laughs> 